Um, look, we've been in close chats for several seasons. Obviously, I brought him in with the Huskies to go to the New Zealand League. Um, that didn't work out when he signed a contract in Poland, but he was very keen to, to come back. He's doing some really good things with his body and getting himself back on track as far as his uh, physical side of things. And um, it was a no-brainer when he reached out to me and said, I want to come and play in Hobart. And, uh, we sort of made that happen. Um, he probably said that really good game a couple of weeks ago when you got on the arc. Didn't say much of him yesterday, but um, yeah, confident coming out of really good match. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a slow process for Harry as far as he's trying to establish himself. He's gone under the probably the best coach uh, in the country, if not the world, in Brian Gorge and a great resume. And I think he's been able to really get his, um, get his body in really good shape. and. Uh, it's perfect timing for us to try and continue that. I think a lot of people forget he's only 23 years of age and for me that's when I started my journey. So he's still got plenty of time. I know he was on the NBA radar there for a while and sort of dropped off, but he's really doing everything right uh, on and off the floor to try and get back to that, that, era, that, that space and we want to help with that. What's the machinations of the rest of the lineup? Yeah, look, he fits beautifully. Uh, Zach White's had some knee problems. Um, he uh, He's declined surgery with his knees, so hopefully he'll be up and running before the start of the season. Jacob Richards has just had surgery as well, so we're really looking for that big. Um, and you're not going to get any better than Harry Froling across the country in that space. And he keeps telling me he's won two NBL uh, one um, championships wherever he's played, and this will be the third. The board are pretty strict and they, they spend obviously equalised right across the female and male genders and that's great for the club so um, it's something that we've, we've uh, really, they've set the standard over the last couple of years with that and making sure that we stick with that and probably proves why we've been so successful. I don't think people understand the budget and the limitations we have as a club and how we've performed over the past three or four years. So. Yeah, we'll put that out there right now, that our budget is nowhere near Kilsyth or Knox or Geelong and these sort of, these sort of teams, but we've got a battle and players come here to play for us and uh, they love what they see. No, yeah, the locals will get a little bit. There'll be a couple of locals um, that will get some funding. Zach White obviously takes a minimal amount. Like. We're just lucky that Zach's been here. He's got a job in the, in Hobart and he loves being part of this group. So he probably doesn't get paid anywhere near what, what he should, but he's been a, a big part and I always call him, he's the key to us winning championships. He's been the X factor for us. And again, uh, he'll be with us the next couple of years and has a real good job and his partner down here so that he won't be going anywhere. Yeah, okay, so when it came to getting Harry over like Tad or something like that, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like financial cost, but we needed a big. Uh, with Zach, with his um, challenges with his knee at the moment, he's got uh, some meniscus problems, and then Jacob goes down with a meniscus tear. He had surgery last week. Uh, we really needed someone in that big position and someone that um, that I've been talking to right across. I mean, I played with his dad in Shane Froling, and I mean, we're hopeful that Keely and uh, and her sister that might even end up coming here in, in 12 months' time. So. The Torns better make sure that they're looking after the Frolings because we'd love to have them. Um, are there two Frolings up there now? No, no, there's only one there, but uh, we'd love to have all the Frolings here. Great family, good pedigree, unbelievable athletes, and um, it'd be nothing better than have them all here one year, wouldn't it, Brent? Yeah, there. Um, what's, your, what's your starting point before Harry comes in? Yeah, so right now we're looking, um, obviously, AJ and Wayne and we're hopeful Jack will be announced next week, Jack Stanwicks, and then Jacob Richards and Zach White will be the starting five. So you've got two locals in there as well. And then the bench is basically a bunch of 17, 18 year old kids. Um, it's uh, really something new for this club, but I'm pretty sure with Harry coming in, he'll be able to support those young kids. And, and that's something that uh, we probably haven't had in the past is you're looking at a lot of 17, 18 year olds being a part of that journey in Harry Griffiths, Luke Brown, Callum Boucher, Phoenix Roby, um, all just finished under 18s, under 20s and, and coming through the system.
Oh, I think with a full squad, yeah, we uh, a lot will ride on the um, the impact of our two imports that are coming in, which I'm quietly confident they're going to be uh, all stars in this league, and complement that with Harry and. Um, Jacob and Jack also, it's, uh, it gives us every chance. We'll be thereabouts for the money we've spent. I couldn't be happier.